Hello Level friends, let's talk about Level 12 to 36 with exciting new little features for you. Let's dive in. First up, we have new Appends method for Eloquent. I'm starting by creating some users through a factory and let's say we have, I don't know, five users. I'm uh, just going to make them here and we get back an Eloquent collection. Here we have our users um, with all the different factory data. And also interesting here we have initials. And this is not a column in the users database field. This is an attribute which I have on my user model. So when I receive the model from the database, I will automatically add this. And the same goes when I create a model, which is pretty cool. But there might be some issues. So this could be an issue if you want to use, for example, a method like insert and fill, which we have on our eloquent model, then this will be an issue because it will now try to add the initials column in the, or find the initials column inside a database, which is not given. So in some cases we need to create this data, but without the appended attributes. Okay, so what can we do about this? There are some workarounds here. So for example, I could add here another each method and then make here a short closure and here receiving our user. And then on every user, I can say set appends and then set this to an empty array. Let's try this out. I think this should make it work. And yeah, you can see the initials is gone. So this is working. But yeah, this is a little, yeah, little hack here in order to make this work. That's why we have something new, which we can use. And let me just demo this to you. We have now a new method. And by the way, we get back here a collection. So this is a new method on the collection without a pens. Let's give it a try. It should still work. And it does. Our initials are gone just by using this method, which we can now use on the collection. We don't have to loop over all the users inside our collection, which is pretty cool. And the same goes also. We have now a set appends also on the whole collections. So if you want to do this, this now works as well. But especially the without appends is something that could be very useful. Thank you, Luke. Next, let's take a look at some updates on the new HTTP badges. In one of the latest videos, I showed it that we now have HTTP badges where you have a batch of HTTP requests that you can run at the same time, which is basically the same that you can do with HTTP pool, but the difference here with batches is that we have a lot of hooks that we can just react to. And now with this pull request, both of these methods have something new that I'd like to show you. So we can set the pool to have a maximum of two concurrent HTTP requests. With the HTTP pool, we can do this just here with a second parameter here to the pool method. And with HTTP patches, we can use a concurrency method in order to define this. So yeah, sometimes it's useful to define how many maximum concurrent um, requests should run at the same time. And now you can do this with this PR. Thank you, Wendell. And last, the boss himself, Taylor, added a little personal request by our own Jason. Let me show you what this was. So Jason from our team had this use case where when he was on one page and then gets to another, he wants to know the route name of the previous page. We already had the possibility to get the URL of the previous page, but now you can also get the route. So let me show you. Um, we're going back here to our index page here and inside my post create controller, we're returning the view to create post here, here we're going to dump something out and we're going to use the request. We're going to go through the session. Yeah, so we have previous URL, which is something that we already had. So let's take a look at this. We're switching here to the next page and we can see the previous URL was this one here. But now we have something else which we can do, which is called previous route. And I think this should do the trick as well. Yeah, so the previous route name was index. And yeah, this might be something which is useful to you. It was for sure useful for Jason who is working on the cloud team. So yeah, give this a look. We now got this new get previous route method here on the session from the request. Thank you, Taylor. A big thank you to all you, the awesome contributors out there who keep making Laravel better and better. If you enjoyed this update, please don't forget to hit the like button 
and subscribe for more Laravel goodness. See you the next time. Bye.